Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 23 of my King Tiger and Bergpanzer Diorama build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brilliant. Thank you. For this episode we're going to start with a bit of sanding. You know, those parts that we filled the extrusion marks with sprue glue. So, yes, that's the ones. So, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. So we've flattened those down, but we still need a bit more sprue glue on there just to get them properly flat. So let's get that done. There we go, that's those done. So. Let's pop those to one side and let them dry. In the meantime, I'm going to be bending PE. Oh, not any old PE, but PE mesh. Luckily, Meng has put a form in as part of the kit. Nice one, Meng, which allows us to get the right shape. So you'll see me cut the form off the sprue, but what you don't see is me ripping the man cave apart, looking for that PE mesh. Luckily, it only took me five minutes. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's get this done and crack on. One nicely formed PE mesh. Thank you very much, mate. One to go. And two vent covers nicely formed. They do look good. Now to cover up some glass. As you know, I'm a cheapskate. So rather than forking out loads of money on named products, I use a equivalent that's cheaper. Here, instead of using Masco, something or something like that, I'm using copy decks instead. It does exactly the same, but at a fraction of the price. So let's get these done. There we go, that's those done, the Copidex is on there. Now for a layer of clear green to emulate the glass thickness, I'm using Tamiya's X25 clear green, obviously. We 
We painted all around the lenses so it reflects through the viewport. Now to move on to the viewport covers. One down, one to go. There we go, that's both the viewport covers glued into place. And I'm gonna be honest here, I've made a bit of a boo-boo. I've already put the clean up of the rounds in the last video, which means that I haven't cut them off the sprue yet which, to be honest, was a pretty laborious task. So I'll just show this bit that you can see at the moment. So moving swiftly along, we'll crack on with cleaning up the sprue glue on the underside of the driver and radio operator's doors. Here we go. We also did the air filter doors. Now to get the doors ready and prepped and everything ready for priming. Luckily, I have spare ones. That's all those parts ready for priming. Now for the drivers and radio operators patch hinges. Let me try saying that first.
that's the door hinges done. Let's pop those in a safe place. Remember that, folks. Anyway, this seems like a good place to end. So, thank you for watching episode 23. If you want to see what happens in episode 24, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment, ring my bell. Remember, folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.